Midnight. Seven times out of ten, we listen to our music at night. <laughs> Thus spawned the title of this program. Late Night Delight with DJ Midas, right here on WMNH Manchester. You want to know why? Because I'm on the radio. Saturdays and Sunday nights, midnight to 4 a.m. This hour on WMNH is sponsored by CGI Business Solutions, located at 5 Dartmouth Drive in Auburn. They serve all your business needs, including employee benefits planning, corporate design and business administration, investments and wealth management, and customized business insurance solutions. Their phone number is 866-841-4600 or on the web at cgibusinesssolutions.com. Behold the harmony of airwaves as you immerse yourself in the captivating frequencies of WMNHLP. The sonic, the sonic heartbeat, heartbeat of, Manchester, of Manchester, transcending through the ether at 95.3 megahertz frequency modulation. Our, our transmissions our emanate from the zenith of 1000 Elm Street. Street. Venture into the heart of our creative realm at 119 Canal Street, where innovation where and sound collide. collide. We bear the imprimatur of Manchester Public Television Service in the venerable city of Manchester, New Hampshire, USA. Enrich your auditory journey with the depth of our licensed residence. Dispatch your missives to WMNH953 at gmail.com or traverse the virtual corridors of WMNHradio.org. Engage with our sonic vibrations by commuting with us through the digital channels. Your radio beckons, eager to enthrall you with its mesmerizing cadence and envelop you in a symphony of boundless auditory wonder. WMNH, rip the knob off. You are listening to WMNH 95.3. The command guy, do the supreme leader, Mezzo coming down. Welcome, everybody. Here we go as we enter our number three, Numero Trace of Matt Connerton Unleashed. And we are live from the studios of WMNH 95.3 FM on Canal Street in beautiful Manchester, New Hampshire. It is Saturday, April 13, 2024. And uh, Jenny is here, of course, at the news table. Present and accounted for. Yes, yes. And we have now joining us live in studio. So we have a, a, a gentleman who... Uh, uh, formerly uh, for, uh, Shane Ballin, but now you're Bags Ballin. That's right. That's so, right. so I want to ask you about that right out of the gate. The uh, the rebrand. Yeah, I rebranded. Yes. Yeah. Last couple times I was here, I was talking about my dad, and uh, my dad. Everybody called him Bags. Everybody called him Bags. Oh, so okay. That was his name. Yeah. And uh, so now, uh, I took over the name. My dad passed away. He fought. He had a tough battle. He fought hard, but. He uh he lost he he lost him in uh, September. Oh wow! Last year. Oh, sorry to hear that. Sorry, yeah. thanks, thanks. Yeah, but uh, yeah, he was like uh real like a manager, you know, felt like to me or like uh, Mick or something, you know. He'd always talk to me and pump me up, you know. So, yeah, I really liked uh, I really uh, liked him, you know, doing that, coming here and uh, and uh, so now I I just really this one I dedicate to my dad because he's not around. So. And I let his name live on now, so it's uh, yeah, it's bags. Oh, that's cool. Bags that, Ballin. That's cool, and it you know, and and from a, a standpoint too of, it helps you stand out, right? Because that's not a name you hear every day, certainly. So yeah. it it, it kind of helps. Uh, yeah, and I used to love hearing it from his friends. You know, his really, son, yeah. Him, hey, bags, hey, bags. You know, yeah, so, yeah. Now uh, somebody they call me up and I walk into some place and they're like, hey, bags. You know, it gives you yeah goosebumps. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. Um, yeah. When did, when did we have you? Was, was it more than a year ago? It, it's, uh, it was, about, um, it was in the old studio, obviously. Yeah, it was, um, twice last year. So, once, oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, before, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And then, and then, yeah, two times. I think the second time was like in, uh, June or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, 
This time, though, is unique because not only are we at our new Canal Street location, but you've uh, brought someone with you. I'll, I'll let you uh, introduce him. That's right. I got my good friend here, Johnny. Hey, what's going on? My name's Johnny. How you doing? Yep. Hey, Johnny. And, uh, yeah, he, he's a real talented guy. He plays uh, something you haven't heard probably, um, but he plays the saw. Um, old-time Americana, baby. It's awesome. And uh, he's going to accompany <laughs> me with some originals and some covers. Uh, so. And as we discussed uh, earlier, that'll be the first time that a saw has been heard on this program, certainly. Probably the first time on WMNH. I reckon you saw it here first. Then. Uh, oh! <laughs> but I'm... <laughs> he's a comedian. He's got puns. <laughs> and, and let me ask you, too, before you guys play something for us, how, how did you guys uh, connect, and do you play together a lot now? Or Yeah, we we met over at uh, Charlie's Hill up in Lebanon. Charlie's I talked Hill. about it before. Charlie's Hill, what's Love up? You, Terry. Yeah, much props, Charlie's Hill. Terry and Mike up there, and... Uh, They've uh, they've really parented, you could say, so many different up and coming musicians and bands. Yeah, um, you know, Sepsis uh, award winning, you know, best metal band of New England just won that. They're they've been on here. They're from you know essentially Charlie's. Mm -hmm. uh, been playing up there a long time. Um, after the winter, played on here. They've been up at Charlie's. Yeah, um, you know, uh, me and Johnny have played on stage uh, many times up there. Or uh, mainly we met around uh, fires. You know, I, I love playing around campfire. It's usually the one great big band. Yeah. The world band. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we've heard about Charlie Sill a lot on this show, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Got to check it out. Mm -hmm. gotta, we, Benny and I got to check that out sometime. Yeah. Where, yeah. Where, so, where is it? It's up in Maine? It's up in Lebanon, Maine. Okay. And uh, I've been playing there exclusively. This year, I finally got some, uh, you know, more more paid gigs. You know, uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I've been, I got a residency pretty much over at Shane's. It's called, ironically, Shane's <laughs> Barbecue Pit. Yeah. Over in um, uh, Hampton. Okay. So, that uh, is really, really fun, um, and they have an outdoor, beautiful uh, tiki bar style, Key West, um, you know, with hanging lights and uh, beautiful paintings outside, all open area uh, for the summertime. Yeah. And, um, you know, great food and, uh, you know, wood burn. Uh, they got a nice uh, hardwood burning when you walk in that smell. Yeah. That bar. So go check those guys out. <clears throat> also at um, Maz Cafe in Deerfield. Um, played there in St. Patty's, and uh, they have some great uh, acoustic circle nights, Wednesday nights, every other Wednesday. Um, great food there. Uh, you got to check them out, Moz, and breakfast also in Deerfield. And the Cavern in Pembroke. Uh, that's another one, too. Um, and uh, that's uh, they got great food, nice bar, uh, great TVs. Oh, is that right so, on Route 3 going through yeah. there? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I know so, I know where that is, yeah. Before the tolls. So, okay. Uh, those uh, places, um, you know, I just want to uh, give shouts so people should check those out. It's going to be good music playing there. I'll be playing there and uh, on Facebook and stuff. I'll post the time. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So, I'm dying to hear you guys, especially now that you have this new component uh, <laughs> with, with, the, with the saw. So, this will be, this will be very interesting. Good pitch. This will be very interesting. And uh, I'll bring that, w once you guys start, I'll bring that other mic up too. Sounds good. <laughs> Put him in the window But I feel I've got to move But I'm gone, I'm gone I'll be coming home soon Long as I can see the light Pack my bags, let's get moving Cause I'm bound to drift a while When I'm gone, I'm gone Oh, you don't have to worry no more Long as I Yes, I've got that old traveling bone Cause this feeling won't leave me alone But I won't, I won't Be losing my way, no, no, no Long as I
Those mics on there. Very nice. Very nice. Awesome. We got Bags Ballin here with us and uh, Johnny. Do you just go by Johnny? Yeah, Johnny Godin. Johnny Godin? Okay. Um, I mean, I've picked up many nicknames over the years. <laughs> <laughs> I can rattle a few off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Toilet. <laughs> oh, oh uh, all right. No, that's not what I want. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, yeah. I'm, how was it? Like, I sometimes get. Really, I probably could kick the hell out of that for oh, man, why did you <laughs> No, it sounds good. You guys sound great. All right. Well, uh, I think we're going to go right into, uh, let's go to an original here. This is called uh, a song I wrote, co-wrote with a good friend of mine. I played it on here before. It's called Daddy's Truck. And, uh, oh, yeah, I remember this song. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. So, so you can find this song out there on uh, all the music outlets. Uh, it was produced by Mr. Good Bars and Toy Box Studio. Much props, Mr. Good Bars, Young Hustle League, YHL. Yeah, he's, huh? been, he's been on the show. Yeah, Goldie yeah. the Goddess and Mr. Good Bars and bang. What's going on, guys and girls? All right. You remember the YHL, Young Hustle League now, Johnny? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> so this song... Song was a song written by Janine and myself. And one day, oh, four years ago, five years ago. Love you, Janine. We miss you. And we, yeah, she is. And uh, I started playing this chord progression. She started thinking of her father. She started, tears started falling down her eyes. And the only thing she could think of was this old beat up truck that she had, you know, for years and years and she used to just go out back and it was the only thing she had left of him. She would go out, she'd smell his smells and his tobacco and his deodorant smell would be still in there and she remembers driving down an old road first time between his legs teaching him how to drive a car. She was down on her luck and she didn't have she didn't have anything really. But she needed a couple bucks so she had to go to a junkyard. And this is the story of Daddy's truck and trading it in to the junkyard man for a few couple bucks. I can still smell tobacco when I climb inside my daddy's truck. Three on the tree on daddy's knee. He taught me how to drive her down an ordered Lucky strikes in all spikes Are two smells that hit my heart Now let them hold mm, Memories in this old Dodge truck Are worth more than money And that you're ever gonna pay me If I wasn't so down on my luck Right now I keep that truck and die I'd hang on to my daddy Unruly child running wild You didn't know how to take me Daddy's girl, I was his word All his love he gave me I didn't care, I just wanted to grow up and be free Memories in a soul 
that's your food is more than the money that you ever gonna pay me. Oh, yeah. If I wasn't so down on my luck right now, I'd keep that truck in life. I'd hang on to my dad. As I take that gun rack down now, my heart breaks with every pain. So to learn of a screw That rear view window now has a very clear and painful view Please fix her up, don't jump her, don't turn my dad to kill Cause the memories in his old Dodge truck are worth more than the money that you're ever gonna pay me. Yeah. If I wasn't so down on my luck right now, I'd keep the truck in life. I'd hang on to my daddy. Who am I gonna call when I wanna say hello? It was too soon and I don't think you'll let it go. <laughs> yeah, that is a beautiful song. Thanks a lot. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I remember you played that the last time. It's like, wow, that's that's intense. And the whole story behind it, too. It's pr pretty amazing. Yeah. 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 That, yeah. Our, that circuit camera guy. Yeah. And, and Johnny Johnny was good friends with uh, with her as well. Oh, okay. So it's just so yeah. fitting. Yeah, yeah, totally, yeah, she totally. Was, she was so true. Like, just in your face. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, if you're just joining us, uh, we have uh, Bags Ballin and uh, Johnny Godin. Oh! Godin, is that your, how you say it? Yeah, that's right. Uh, Johnny Godin here with us live in studio and um, playing some songs. And this is the first time that the two of you have been here together. So how many how many, so how many uh, live shows have you guys done together? Both been on a couple of the shows. A couple, a couple times, you know, over uh, just a lot of informal stuff, but a lot of, uh, you know, gatherings and then a couple shows, you know, that we've done together. Yeah. And do you have other musicians you play with too, or? or? Well, you know, uh, not really. A couple of guitarists, I guess I would say. You know, um, and stuff like Brian Munger and uh, maybe you know like Madison West and things. But yeah. we don't really. Uh, and uh, much props, Madison West. Go for it, buddy. He's gonna go for a win. Uh, Hampton Idol. He's in the finals. He's another Charlie's oh, Hill true. guy right there. Oh. All right. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh cool. Yeah. Check cool. him out. Check him out. Good job, Madison. Excellent, Proud of you, buddy. Excellent. Um, I have played with a lot of people like. I usually fill in with a lot of people. Like yeah, when I originally started playing song, like I, I grew up playing drums uh, for my dad. Oh, okay. Six years old. That was your first instrument, drums. Yeah. Yeah. And then when he passed away in Tenzin, 2014, like uh, I inherited his bass guitar and his bass amp. Nice. So I started to learn how to play I'm right-handed. Like, I'm left-handed, but I've learned to play pretty much other guitar, banjo, everything else, left-handed violin. <laughs> yeah. It's just the right hand roll. Yeah, yeah. Uh, even the saw technically is right-handed. Is it? Yeah. Is, is that a difficult instrument to learn, or you know, I mean, it takes a couple. You know, you can make a sound in a day. But yeah. Like after a day or two, you start to have to work on some form. But it's about at least for me, it took a couple months to get some of the learning curve. But yeah, years to really start to master the pitch because this taught me about pitch way more than any other instrument has. Really? Yeah. 
there's no attenuation, but you can play in between frequencies. So, mm-hmm. like, that's where you can start resonating when I open my mouth, like, my jaw, I can feel the resonance. Yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so that's why you do that. Technically, yeah. Okay. But, like, it transfers over to other instruments that I've played. Like, oh, you know, I have a better understanding. It kind of breaks me to plateau. Oh, that's interesting. Like, okay. Yeah, I'm always, like, changing different kinds of chord progressions or yeah. um, on, like, banjo specifically. So yeah. Like, just that yeah. But anyways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, cool. Well, I'm dying to hear some more if you guys All right, yeah, we're ready. Want to play another one, yeah? Yeah, sure. All right, Johnny, how about, uh, what do you call, well, wait, do the all one more, sorry, let's follow along with your time, so it's going to be like the same chord progression as you did. Yeah, sure. Here's a little cover song by Bailey Zimmerman called Rock in a Hard Place. Who does that song? That's Bailey Zimmerman. Um, not familiar. Yeah, he was, he's, he's a he's, he's pretty hot right now on uh, you know country uh, top. You know he played at uh, New Year's Eve shows and everything like that. Okay. Yeah, that's new to me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a young kid. He's good. Really, that's a great song, and I, I like the way you sing it. That's a that's a really good song. Wow, I like that a lot. What's that called again? It's called Rock in a Hard Place. Rock in a Hard Place. I got to look that up. Yeah, really, really good. Great. If you're just joining us, we have. Uh, 
Bags Ballin live in studio with us, and Johnny Godin is here as well, playing the song. Hi, family. Hi. I love us. <laughs> awesome. I love us. So glad you're here, Johnny. Uh, by the way, uh, Iris Iverson uh, Lemire is in the chat room and says in all caps, wow, love this. <laughs> so very nice. Hey, mom. Very nice. Oh, that's your mom. Oh, that's she right. she was on there last time you were on, too, that's wasn't right. she? I, I thought the name was familiar, she's, yeah. She's my manager. Oh, is she? Yeah. That's right. Oh, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Well, hi, Mom. Hi, Welcome hi. to the show. And I see uh, Legion of Solace is in there as well. And uh, B. Pinard and uh, some other folks uh, joining Ooh. us on this uh, Saturday morning. <clears throat> All right. gonna play a little along the watchtower for you oh nice kind of we'll go psychedelic with that saw all right that'll be your jimmy saw Some kind of way out of here Said the joker to the thief There's too much confusion I can't get no relief It's this man come drink my wine Now man take my word But none of them will That was excellent, excellent. We've got Bags Ballin with Johnny Godin here in studio this morning on Matt Connerton Unleashed. And Deb Windsor is in the Facebook live chat oh, hey. and says, Hi, Johnny Godin. You guys sound awesome. Yeah, that's my boss. Oh, very nice. Working at a car lot. Oh, no kidding, yeah. Southbound Auto Sales. <laughs> I'm sure Tom would love that. Shout out. Southbound Auto Sales, uh, 603-409-6200. 
I'm a salesman. I've reached a vend for him. He does festivals as well. Yeah, yeah. So he, uh, he sells cars like candy bars. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I did that once in a part of time in a blue moon down in Orlando because I'm from Florida. Really. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, Ocala, Florida. Love you, mom. Love you, family. So, uh, how'd, how'd you uh, how'd you find your way to New Hampshire? Uh, so uh, back in 2017, my uh, my pot dealer needed to. <laughs> Ride up to Massachusetts, <laughs> and he didn't have a driver's <laughs> license, so yeah. he was going to Midfield. And uh-huh. <laughs> I learned all about this New England experience since then. I, my cousin, he lived in Dover. Like my, my mom's side of the family is from Cape Cod. Yeah, and yeah. actually, my uncle Danny used to be a DJ for. Uh, oh, he's gonna kill me for not remembering this, but it's oh. 101 something, I think, from a long time ago. Danny Tower. Okay. Yeah, I love oh. you, Danny. But yeah, um, that was my connection to up here. But I yeah. travel around the country and uh, really fell in love with New Hampshire. Yeah, like the diversity of it. Oh, good, good. Well, we're glad you're here. And the musical talent from everybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's there's so much great talent all around here. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I was gonna do. Uh, we didn't do Aaron Lewis yet. I'm just watching Aaron Lewis. No, I didn't do that one yet. All right. Yeah, I was gonna do an Aaron Lewis song. Okay. Yeah, check out Aaron Lewis lately. He's great. I know he's been kind of canceled here and there, but you know, political reasons, whatever. But great musician. Yeah. Originally, uh, uh if, if stained for, for anyone, I was gonna say yeah for anyone listening just, who who thinks oh that name's familiar, but I don't quite can't quite place him. Yeah. Just but, came out with a new album, Stained. But what he oh Stained has a yeah, new album. Yeah. Oh, Fifty years old. They just came out with a rock album. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, that okay. Um, but his solo stuff is is all country, right? Country. It's it's country, or, yeah. It's country mixed with like he even sings stain songs with a little country swag. Oh, okay, okay, all right, cool. You know, and uh, this this song's called "Lost and Lonely." Okay, it's a song about uh, he wrote it about being on the road and uh, being away. I think he was like in jail or something for a little bit. Oh, okay. Thing off of tour, you know. And uh, Bro- Brooks Young was kind of talking about that a little bit uh, in the the uh, our first hour today yeah. about being on the road and being lonely and. Not not the jail that's, part, but being yeah. on the road and and, 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 <laughs> and being kind of lonely. That's exactly and, it. Yeah, yeah. And that's the that's the that's what he's trying to capture in this song, and uh, and uh, I think you'll you'll feel it. All right. Oh, 
all these things that I do. Cause I couldn't have you. So help me, you love me. Tell me you stay and you will watch over this house. Well, I go away and That's a great song. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So it's Lost and Lonely by Aaron Lewis. Right. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, if you're just joining us, uh, Bags Ballin is here with us in studio this morning. And uh, Johnny Godin also accompanying accompanying him. I always have a hard time with that word. Accompanying <laughs> him <laughs> on the saw and uh, playing some stuff and uh, mostly just Mostly just playing, not as not as much talk, more just playing because uh, you know we've we've had uh, Bags has been on the show a few times and uh, love to hear you play, love your voice. Thank you so much. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh oh, <laughs> I'm not singing much. I got a wet this whistle. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. I'd like to uh, play. I don't know if Johnny you know this or not, but you can chime in, my friend. I've been doing that for the last two songs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I played that one a couple of times. I'm not completely familiar. Yeah, I just love this song. I've been playing this cover lately. I just want to, want, I felt like playing it. We'll take a chance. Got to go out of your range every now and then, right? There you go. There you go. What? It, what is it? You like Chris Isaac? Oh. Uh, we've we've heard some Chris Isaac in the uh, okay studio recently. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. I'll try to match him up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is a wicked game. All right. Thank you. 
Very nice. That's yes, as soon as we <laughs> Bags Ballin here with us uh, live in studio, and we also have uh, Johnny Godin uh, here with us. Um, yeah, I don't remember if you had played that one before on the show. No, I just learned it. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah uh, Jenny's son uh, Jesse Coffey, uh, he played it. Uh, he, actually, he's played it a couple times on the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure, you played it better. <laughs> <laughs> No, that was great. That was excellent. That was um, excellent. <coughs> what inspired you to become this kind of person? That kind of person? Um, I just because I just I wanted to just you know go for it, do a falsetto on the radio. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is that do you find that challenging or does it come? Yeah, come easy it's to hard you? to do with sitting down. You know. Oh yeah, it. yeah, that's right. You it's mentioned. Hard to get, get the steps. Yeah, so yeah. Finding that you know standing is a lot, uh, a lot better as a vocal. But yeah, yeah. Especially when you're old. <laughs> yeah we got so, we got time for for a couple more okay great yeah we got a couple more cool cool um here's an original i wrote this song is called charlie okay and this song is very special uh talking about charlie's hill this is dedicated to terry's daughter charlie who passed away um several years ago and uh, i wrote this song this song came to me in a, a dream where i was having a conversation with her mother uh, about a conversation and uh about her daughter passing i didn't even know her that well it's just interesting how that happened and i wrote a wrote a song that night had to write it uh and was real emotional with it and uh i ended up getting to know them very well after that and um i sang this several times there um but uh, i I, it's dedicated to her daughter who passed away and it's about all the things that we see or we think we feel and we kind of we sense we don't think it we really sense it that we feel the presence in a sense of the the essence of the people we love. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is especially so mm-hmm. for them. So I love you, Terry. I love you, Mike. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Here's Charlie. We'll see each other again. I I remember this song from last time. Yeah, this is a beautiful song. Saturday night jams and loving you. Pink tires and borrowed cars. The distance between us is closer than you think. The next time you're in the field and the stars give away.
and I'm silent in your eyes. Living love and laughter survive in a hot stove keeps that music alive. It's the resonation that still resides in all this you'll find. Yeah, I, am. I am the flickering light and the reason. And I'm the tears of your neck. I am the whistle in the wind. Oh, and I'm that silence when you rise. When living love and laughter survive. The hot stove keeps that music alive. It's me, oh yeah, it's me, Mama, it's me, it's me, yeah, it's me. Oh, it's me, everything you see and feel, it's me, oh my, it's me. And I am. Charlie. Beautiful, beautiful song. Absolutely. Uh, if you're just joining us, Bags Ballin is here with us live in studio with uh, Johnny Godin. And uh, you got, uh, you want to do one? We got time yeah. for one, one more, more if you want to do. Yeah, yeah. All right, great. We'd, we'd love to hear another one. <laughs> okay. And uh, by the way, where, where's, where's your next show? Where are you playing next? So I'll be over um, at uh, Shane's Barbecue Pit. Um, on the 11th of um, May. Okay. But before then, I'll be playing at the Cavern. I'm pretty sure next week. Okay. At the Cavern in Pembroke. Um, and I'll be in May um, over in uh, Auburn Tavern. I'll be playing in. Shout out to Auburn Tavern, uh, my hometown. And um, um, over at um, Shane's again throughout each month until December. Okay, cool. Yeah, and you got to check out the, the, the place in the summertime there. Great back area with... Uh, that tiki bar set up in Key West style. It's beautiful. So. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, I got one final one. Here's a little Chris Stapleton for you. Save it. This was called Fire Away. All right. Honey, put on your fences, pick up your sticks and your stones, and pretend I'm a shelter 
For heartaches that don't have a home Use the words that cut like a razor I'll lie to my grave Thank you so much. I'm Bags Balance, been great. And my good friend Johnny Godin. I'm so glad to be here again. Thank you. Thank you for toughing it out with me. <laughs> yeah, no, first no, time. no, no. It's great to have you here. Great to have you both here. Thank you. And uh, now that, that's a cool song. What is that called again? Fire Away, Chris and, Stapleton. And it's Chris Stapleton. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very cool. Um, where should people go online to find you? Well, I have a YouTube channel, uh, Bags Balance, B A G Z B A L O N. Please subscribe to that. Uh, and uh, also Facebook, Bags Ballon, B-A-G-Z-B-A-L-O-N. And um, I'll be posting my uh, uh, times and play and events schedules. And again, I'll be over at Shane's Barbecue Pit in Hampton. Um, and uh, then over at um, the Cavern in Pembroke. And I'll be at Ma's Tavern and Cafe over in Deerfield. And uh, a couple others here. And uh, looking forward to uh, getting some new songs. I just have to finish them. I got a lot yeah, in the yeah. works, but I'm just not ready yet. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome. No, wonderful to have you both here. Uh, Johnny, what about you? Where should people find you? You know, right, so it's been, I've been thinking around, like, okay, I'm usually shy, like, but I think this is probably going to bring me out to actually start to do a world of things. I like yeah, yeah. A lot of um, science experiments anyway and stuff, but uh, I'd love to start making a video. Probably find me just, uh, well, you could definitely find me, Johnny Godin, J-O-N-N-Y, Godin, G-O-D-I-N, on Facebook. Yep. But, so this is probably going to push me into a, a bunch of things I've been wanting to. Good. Do. I need to get a looper. I need to clean up this sauce so I can get it in the <laughs> register. And I got like a bunch of instruments and ideas ready to go. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, as a, of um, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. World, and thank you for you gave me some great inspiration. Like you know, I'm getting old. Uh, 
<laughs> like, <laughs> might as well do something in this world. That's right. To We're alive. Might as well live and do everything you want to do. You know, Absolutely. no one should be insecure about anything. Do everything you want to do out there. Anybody listening, don't ever be afraid of anyone's looking at you or how you feel. Just do what you want to do because then you look back and say, "I did that." And some people aren't even alive right now, and they, mm-hmm. and they wish they could do these things. Yeah. Yeah, so right, don't spend right. your life being insecure. Okay. That was also kind right. of a, a theme uh, when we were talking earlier to Brooks Young. That that kind of came up too. Yeah. Uh, interesting. In the air today. I, I guess it's a day for that, which is good. Very, very positive. Gentlemen, thank you both so thank much. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Absolutely. And thank you, of course, to Brooks Young for joining us in the first hour. And, of course, our friend uh, Grimrock for Skyping in from PA. And, of course, Eric Pilcher for another great classic film review. Uh, this week he did, uh, it was actually a replay of A Touch of Evil from 1958 as he is uh, featuring Orson Welles uh, this month uh, during his film review. Jenny, thank you. You want to mention your uh, website? Absolutely. You can check me out at jencoffee.com, J-E-N-N-C-O-F-F-E-Y.com. And I might have some surprises coming up towards the end of next week. Yes. Or middle of the week yes. or something like that. Yes. Keep an eye on Jenny. She's doing good stuff. So, <laughs> And if you missed any part of today's show, it'll be up in just a little bit at WMNHradio.org and at my website, mattconnerton.com. And, uh, that's it for us for now. We'll talk to y'all a little bit later. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Hello. Bye-bye. Bring your kitchen to life with Queen City Cabinetry. Located at 87 Elm Street in the historic Sunbeam Mall in Manchester. Open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. and Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. They can be reached at 603-222-2007 or on the web at queencitycabinetrynh.com. Come see the possibilities. Queen City Cabinetry, another proud sponsor of W. Come on down to the Hop Knot at 1000 Elm Street, Manchester's premier craft beer and gourmet pretzel bar. Tell us more, Trudy. We make our dough fresh every day. We make a variety of styles of pretzels and serve craft beer, cocktails, and a few bottles of wine. We do the traditional pretzel, and we have multiple flavors for that. We also do stuffed pretzels, pretzel sandwiches, three dessert pretzels, and pretzel knots. The Hop Knot in the Brady Sullivan Plaza at 1000 Elm Street. When it comes to keeping WMNH on the air and your own personal or business computer needs, trust Groland Computers. Located on Elm Street in Manchester, Groland handles computer repair, virus removal, and custom-built systems. Are you looking for budget-friendly options? Check out our selection of fully inspected used computers. We offer tailored, on-site solutions. No unnecessary expenses here. Visit Groland.com or call Groland Computers at 603-645-0101. Your tech, your way. Trust Groland Computers. This hour on WMNH is sponsored by CGI Business Solutions, located at 5 Dartmouth Drive in Auburn. They serve all your business needs, including employee benefits planning, corporate design and business administration, investments and wealth management, and customized business insurance solutions. Their phone number is 866-841-4600 or on the web at cgibusinesssolutions.com. Diz's Cafe is the place to put a smile on your face. Judy and the crew will take care of you, bring your appetite, and treat your taste buds right. Diz's Cafe is always a winning choice, breakfast, lunch, or supper. Diz's Cafe at 860 Elm Street in downtown Manchester. Dine in, take out, or make a reservation. Call 603-606-2532. Eat, drink, and be happy. Diz's Cafe. You are listening to WMNHLP, 95.3 FM. Broadcasting from the top of 1000 Elm Street. Our studios are located at 119 Canal Street and licensed to Manchester Public Television Service in Manchester, New Hampshire. Contact us by email at WMNH953 at gmail.com or through our website at WMNHradio.org.